I am going to read the first pages of a parent power for the first time ever read out loud in public. You guys get it first. Yay! All right. Um, don't laugh at me. I'm going to drink some water because mm -hmm. the first pages of a parent power. Electricity flew from her fingers to the shower door handle. Valerie Russell yanked her hand back. The shock had not hurt, but the burst of light alarmed her. She reached again slowly. This time, nothing happened. She stepped into the shower. The water flowing over her face was satisfying in that it woke her senses far better than her alarm. Startled out of her thoughts by her husband clearing his throat, she took a breath to tell him what just happened, and he cut her off. Who the hell are you? Scott stood frozen, staring at her. Last time I checked, I was your wife. She wiped a layer of droplets to clear her view and waited for him to respond. His lips parted to speak, but he remained silent. Brows creased, head tilted. What is it? She stopped the shower, studying his expression. Valerie pushed the door open, yanked a towel from the wall. The question he had posed to her was odd, but his demeanor, demeanor made her heart race. Something was wrong. She had seen him speechless twice in the seven years she had known him. Once when their son was born, and again when the boy had broken his arm. Scott had frozen in shock. Her mouth went dry, and the grip of fear tightened in her chest. Scott pivoted as she rushed by him, mouth still groping to form words. Valerie flew down the hall to her son's room, slapped the switch on the wall. The two-year-old scrunched his nose and threw an arm over his eyes. Relieved, she guided the switch to the off position and pulled the door until the opening was only an inch wide. Valerie exhaled, pausing to take a few long breaths. She fought to slow her heart rate and walked back to the bathroom. Stop being weird, Valerie said, shivering. The towel had just covered the front of her, and the cold drops from her dark hair annoyed her. She shoved him. You scared me. Have you looked at yourself today, Scott asked. Tight-lipped, she raised an eyebrow, daring him to joke about her body. Scott pulled the towel from her loose grip. The heavy, terry cloth fell into a heap on the floor. He reached out to touch her bare skin, but she pushed his hand away. I love you, Scott, but we don't have time for this. Valerie kissed his cheek and laid a playful slap on the same spot. He grabbed her wrist as she tried to walk away. I said we don't have time. The reflection in the mirror caused her to choke on the last word. The figure moved with her as she stepped closer. She rubbed the remaining beads of dampness from her face and studied her reflection again. Her eyes narrowed. She leaned further, a swarm of butterflies released in her stomach. The hair stood up on her arms, her mouth dry and uncomfortable. The 35-year-old working mom stared at the image of her 20-year-old self all signs of age erased. Those are the first pages, guys. You got to hear them first. So one thing I want to talk about is um, the very beginning of the book, the main character, Valerie, uh, completely regresses in age. Um, this was really important to me to write because as I was um, writing my book, I had just finished a parent, or I'm sorry, I just finished Divergent. And with my military background and the main character in Divergent going through this training for her society's um, police force or army, like I remembered when I was 19 years old going through obstacle courses and learning how to shoot and you're just, <laughs> sorry, I'm just not reading everyone's comments. So um, when, when I was learning how to shoot hand-to-hand -hand combat and all these things, like that's what really bought my interest into Divergent. So um, as we start this journey with um, our main character gets stranded um, 100 miles from home, she has to walk 100 miles to get back to her son because that's what any other mother would do. Um, but in reading this, I didn't want anyone reading this saying, oh, I couldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to do that because I have this injury or uh, because I'm overweight and I'm out of shape, there's no way I'd be able to walk 100 miles, but if you woke up and you were your peak physical condition 20 years old again, there, you know, you'd absolutely be able to walk 100 miles. Hey, any 20 year olds out there? Okay, 